have it then? What? Tyler Martin's been sent off. No offence to Sheffield Wednesday, but we're making them look like Bayern Munich. Oh, wow. Wow! That helps just laugh at what you're seeing here. Yeah! Come on! They celebrated with us. A fiery battle awaits. East Yorkshire takes on South. Tigers take on the Owls as a team battling for promotion to the Premier League takes on a team battling for survival in the Championship. Today will be loud, ferocious and certainly a fantastic game to watch. But can the Tigers stay in the playoffs and get all three points? Yes, the big one is here as Hull City take on Sheffield Wednesday in the 26th round of the most exciting, most competitive and most hectic league in the world, the EFL Championship. I tell you something, I'm absolutely buzzing for today. Not only has this got the potential to be an absolute firecracker of a game, a game that could potentially go down in history, but the atmosphere could be one of the best we've seen for 20 years. We're bringing 3,500 fans, the most we've brought to Hillsborough since 2004, and the most we've brought to an away end for a long, long while. This isn't only a game in the championship, but there is a sl I wouldn't say a massive rivalry, but since the playoff final and us being two Yorkshire clubs there is still a little bit of hatred in the air. Now we can talk about off the pitch and how good the atmosphere is but on the pitch it's a lot closer than I think a lot of Hull City fans initially expected. The truth is Sheffield Wednesday have had recent form. They're slowly climbing up the table. They've gone from 24th to 23rd, overtaken Rotherham. Two wins in the last five. Danny Roll's done a fantastic job. Now you're looking at it two or three months ago we'd say four or five nil to Hull but today will be a lot closer and I'll be honest I think whoever gets the first goal will probably nick the three points but you always have to stay positive and I do think with the pressure being on Hull City we will pull out a fantastic performance we have to win these games now if we want to stay in the top six and it does get very nervous come the end of the championship so games like this you want to try and capitalize as much as possible the last competitive fixture ended in a 4-2 victory to the Tigers at the MKM earlier on this season. An Aaron Conley goal and a hat-trick by Ozan Tufan sealed all three points for the Tigers. Today, we're at the famous Hillsborough Stadium, home of Sheffield Wednesday. My first ever visit and I'm so buzzing. It's a fantastic atmosphere always. Although there is a little bit of a rivalry, I do massively rate Sheffield Wednesday fans. The loyalty and passion they have, you know, it's undescribable. Hopefully we can get the three points. We need to set off soon. It's an hour and a half drive and it's about one o'clock. I also get to watch Luke Littler in the car. 16 years old, did you know? Up them tigers. Right, off we pop. I just knew that was happening. Whew, I'll tell you what, for January, this is belting weather. Just need a full away end and a good result. I'll be sound. You're in good form, are you, Dad? Well, ain't that pretty? Why did I put a cockney accent on? Well, we don't know. There is some water about. Happy New Year, Grandma! Oh, thank you very much, and the same to you. Grandma, what's your score predictions? We're playing Sheffield Wednesday today. Well, I think Hull might win 2-1. Hopefully ah, they will. That'll do. Happy New Year's, Grandad. Yeah, happy New Year to you. Thank you. Score predictions, Grandad. Sheffield Wednesday. 1-1. One, one, one. Ah, that's gutting. Well, you wouldn't have thought these were supposed to be football pitches. Mackies. I am on a diet though, New Year. Well, everyone says that really, don't they? Not long to go. I haven't done my usual recording on way to game. I've been watching darts. We'll try and get a bit more in before we get to the ground. Visitors, coaches, we must be near. I'm looking forward to this. With Sunderland winning 2 0 against Preston at the 12 30 kickoff, it means this game means more than ever. We need to get the three points. A draw would not put us into the playoffs. Things have got a lot more nervous now. I think that's the biggest Sainsbury's I've ever seen. Look at the size of that. Way up. <laughs> there he is. Oh, that's a good 
there it is. What a ground. Oh, I've never been to Hillsborough. I'm buzzing for this one. I need to use another word than buzzing. I'm very excited. Well, there it is. Now to try and find Leo. It's like a blooming nosy stadium. Players entrance one way, away one's other way. I'm walking around like a tart. Pretty cool. It's like a stadium, this. Let's go meet Barry Bannon. A burger, Whoa. the bus is here. Leo's here. I'm here. Top scram, looking forward to it. My hands are shaking. What an away end this is. Right, off we pop. Whoa, it's a squeeze in here. Is this all right? Cheers. Perfect. Whoa. Lead out. Right then, the big reveal for the first time. It's more beautiful in person. Oh, Look at that! Yeah, cheers, Leo. Look at the size of this away end. <laughs> this is going to be belting. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have arrived. And what a beautiful ground it is. For the first time in quite a few months, we've actually got a bit of time to have a chat about the game, the lineup, and get a few score predictions. Usually, you know, I'm rushing five, ten minutes till kickoff. Now, the lineup, it's a bit of a strange one, really. We were told that Sari would be going to Afcon after this game, but he's not in the match day squad, so we presume he's gone today. Apart from that normal lineup, as expected, very, very strong. With that team there, he should be trying to get the three points. The only thing is, Scott Twine yet again on the bench, and Adama Traore. It's weird, you're thinking, with the rumours today of Manuel Benson and As Anas Zamori, you're thinking, will Scott Twine go back to Burnley and maybe we'll replace him with one of them? You don't know. I'd love to see him stay, though. I think every game is getting better and better. I just wanted to start a few games, get a run of form, and be the Scott Twine we knew last season for Burnley. Without further ado, here's your lineup up today on Sheffield Wednesday. In goal, Matt Ingram. Today's right back and captain, Louis Coyle. The two centre backs are Alfie Jones and Sean McLaughlin. Left back, Jacob Greaves. In midfield, Regan Slater, Tyler Morton, and Ozan Tufan. On the right, Liam Dullap. On the left, Jason Lakilo. And up front, Aaron Connolly. Now we're joined with Harry, long time no see mate. Right. Big game today, bit of a derby in some senses. What's your score prediction? 4-1 City, man. Come on, who's getting Four the goals? Serry Atrick and the last. <laughs> I love Serry. <laughs> it was Jacob Greaves last time. <laughs> now we're joined with Leo. Big game today, score predictions. Well, I'll put a bet on for him. It's going to be 2-0 City, I'll have to score first. Second uh, goal. Nobody cares because it's 2-0. Now we're joined with Abigail. What's your score predictions? 3-1. Who's scoring? Scott Twan, Aaron Connolly, and Liam Dunn. He's betting on Wilkes to score. <laughs> <laughs> what a fella. Change of scenery, front row. Hopefully we're all standing. Can't sit on the way, do you? Really looking forward to this. Despite everything going on behind the scenes at the club, the fans, back the club no matter what through and through they're always there i love that from sheffield wednesday should be a good game not only have we sold out the top tier but we're also close to selling out the bottom tier this is incredible support well at least we get to see the light show today well here we have it then full city take on sheffield wednesday in the 20th round of the championship what an atmosphere! Warm reception. Come on, Matt! I've been so looking forward to wearing this live. I hope Sheffield Wednesday. This will be belting. Wow! Two to take kick off for the Tigers. Come on! Let's have it. <laughs> and on that player to watch, of course, it's Barry Bannon. But also Anthony Massaba is a quality player as well. I think he's one to watch out for the future. Fifty grand! Ooh! Whoa! No! Welling! Whoa! Yeah, go 
Well, I mean, dominated here. You would not think it's 23 versus 6, not at all. Lakilo's just been elbowed, and the other guy who elbowed him has gone down. Stop the shot. No way! No way! Oh. Oh. Anthony Masaba's ripping us to shreds here. We really need to be careful. And to top it all off, I've been given the two fingers by a Wednesday fan. It is what it is. Where the left side, where the left side. Definitely not the goal fest we were expecting. A very cagey affair. But I'll tell you what, if we can just nick a goal and hold on to that. What a win it would be. Oh. Anthony Basaba, man. Too good. No. No, no. Oh. Corner. We're slowly creeping into this game. But the start, I'll be honest, has been very, very sloppy from us, defensively wise. I get nervous every time that Misaba's on the ball. Because he looks like a real special talent. With this atmosphere, he's up there with Leicester away. Absolutely incredible. No. No. <laughs> and there's Malik Wilkes, former Tiger. If he comes on, I wonder the reception. Oh, you're joking me. You're joking here. Welling! What a challenge! What? No! Tyler Morton's been sent off. Tyler Morton's been sent off. Arguably our best player. I mean, let's be honest, he went two footing in. We were absolutely dominated for the first half an hour. <laughs> we're going to get battered. We've been struggling as it is for the first 25 minutes and now 10 men in. Well, cheers, Paul. If they score now, it's going to be a long, long way back. Well, yeah, but we're, we're okay. Well, there will be a substitution. Oh, I feel gutted for everyone after comes off for this. I'm gutted for him. Jason Lakilo comes off. Greg Doherty comes on. I love Greg, but Jason did not deserve that. It shows we're more focused on not conceding. Look how much space Coyle has got there. You give it to Sean. Coyle makes that run over there. He's one on one. I'll tell you what, Barry Bannon must have had 60% of Sheffield Wednesday possession. Every time they've got an attack, a corner, throw in, Barry Bannon is always there. And that he, he is good in it. He is very good. Probably too good for this league. <laughs> I don't know. Three minutes added time. We just need to hold on so Liam Rossini can work his tactics. Because we haven't got a man down yet this season. So I'm not too sure what we'll do this second half. Sit back and try and get a nil-nil draw. Hit him on the counter attack if we can. Or just play like we were. Just forget we have a man out. Don't know. We have to worry about this free kick though. Which is a free kick, not a penalty. That's a positive. You'd imagine Barry Bannon will be all over this. But they do have a few good free kick takers. <laughs> well, there we have it. And booze around the away end. Probably not for the performance, but for the referee. I'm going to try and get a drink with well, this concourse. It's going to be jam packed. See if we can get some half time waffling as well. Don't know what to think. Well, half time. I think the worst bit, I couldn't get a blooming drink. Not alcohol, I wanted a Fanta. Unfortunately, the queues are too big. But I've had a look at the replay on the red card. And at first, I thought he went studs up. But actually, yes, he gets the man. But he wins the ball as well. For me, it's definitely a yellow, but 
think a red's very, very harsh. But then you look at it from other angles, it could be a straight red, we don't know. I am quite nervous for the second half. I think Sheffield Wednesday now having a man more will push with the three points. And I feel we're bringing Greg Doherty on and taking a striker off. We're trying to sit back and try and earn a point, which isn't great from the fans' perspective, but you know, one point's better than three. We can still nick the three points, it's definitely possible. We've still got Dolap, Connolly, up front. It just big good in how it's ended up. As soon as it's still nil-nil, more to score prediction. <laughs> To be fair, that's not unrealistic. To be fair, Barry has looked deadly this half. He is a good player. One of the best players, midfielders, on the ball, in the league. Very, very good player. Coming in. The Tigers are back on for the second half. And we've made a double for the season. Scott Twine and Cyrus Christian coming on. So what happened? He left by 50 a minute. Sean McLaughlin comes off. And so does Aaron Connolly. That is mad. But that's just Liam a senior. <laughs> We're trying to not let them score. 11 men seemed impossible. Trying to get a comeback with 10 men. It's going to be even harder. Stay um, late to them. Fantastic goal. We are so inconsistent. I love this club so much. But we'll go and beat Middlesbrough. Then lose to QPR. Then go and beat a big team in the top six. And then go and lose to Sheffield Wednesday, the relegation zone. No one's fault, it's a good goal. Why are they doing the mold by the Tigers at 1 0? Uh, well, that's something. Oh, what are we doing? No offence to Sheffield Wednesday, but we're making them look like Bayern Munich. Fair play, good goal. Anthony Masaba. Best player on the pitch. Best player on the pitch. Try and stay positive, I suppose. It's a local drive back. We need filaging back massively. I know people say this about the stats. We play better without him. Well, we don't. Let's be honest. He's incredible. We need him back. We need Bernard back. Yeah. There's a group of 3,000 people singing Mole by the Tigers at us. We deserve it. Brilliant. That can't get any worse, surely. This could be far. This genuinely could be far. What is this? Oh. Last two subs then. Ali Art and Matthew Jacob come on. Bit confusing why we're bringing a left back on when we're 2 0 down and taking off Liam Delap. It is what it is. Aliar's been on the pitch three minutes and he already looks like our best player. We cannot let him go in January because it's gutting because it could be potentially his last ever game. Just needs a run of games. He's incredible. See Bannon there. Sometimes he's up front, sometimes he's centre back. He can play anywhere. Just look at that for a pass. It's great to see investments are needed in January massively. A left back is needed. The midfielder is needed. We don't have enough squad that there. And potentially another forward. It is really, really cold. And you can hear a pin drop here. You can feel how gutted people are. Only I just skip our seven players. Oh. We need to start him. Oh wow. Oh, wow! What? 
that helps. Laugh at what you're seeing here. The full stadium waving us goodbye. And thousands and thousands of all city fans are far out of the stadium. Well, I certainly did not predict this, and I don't think anyone did. Let's be honest, the red card killed the game. I think a lot of us sense that. Well, you can just hear them, really. Yeah. Look, there's always chance in the championship. There is always a chance in the championship. Probably not today. You never know. Go on. Yes! Come on! <laughs> They're celebrating with us at Wednesday, fans. We can do this. We've scored a goal. Find Alia. Twenty-seven thousand hills were very good attendance. Very good support from Wednesday fans. The ball, we've lost the ball, we've lost the ball. I don't know what you're thinking. Well, there he is, Malik Wilkes comes on to a reception of booze. Oh well. I really enjoyed my burger before the game. I'm just gonna stay positive. Might get another one. Be home. Get snuggled up, watch a film and cry. I've never seen a whole city away in so hostile. It looks like only Aliar and Greaves are putting effort in at the moment. Greaves have just run the length of the pitch. Aliar giving everything. There are two players we need to keep hold of. Go on, Regan. Six minutes added on. Is it enough? Yeah, my Saba deserves it. People just flooding out. That shows they're optimistic, I suppose. Well, that was fun. I think it takes skill to do that, I'll be honest. I'd say to finish it off, but it already is finished. To add salt to the wound. Yeah! How many times have heard people in this stadium away and say Aliyah needs to play? It's just incredible. Well, there it is. Who's in the away end? Oh, I can't even, words can't describe that game. Well, fair play to all the whole City players for carrying on right until the end. Well, well, well. Full-time, Hull City 1, Sheffield Wednesday 3. I don't think anybody predicted the outcome of that game. But all credit to Sheffield Wednesday. They outplayed us, they dominated us. And I genuinely think if Tyler Martin Hanna had got sent off, we would have still lost. They just played that well. And all credit to them. They've got some fantastic fans. I know there's a bit of a rivalry there. But the truth is, we do know Sheffield Wednesday are known for having some fantastic fans. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and turn on notifications. It would genuinely mean absolutely everything. It's been a true pleasure taking you to Hillsborough to watch Hull City versus Sheffield Wednesday. The next video is a project I've been working on for the last couple of days of a player from every championship club I think deserves to play in the Premier League. That'll either be out tomorrow or the day after thank you up them tigers